What's up everyone? So today we're back in LessDefend.io and we're investigating an alert concerning a phishing email which contains an Excel file and has some macros in it and some other things. But without further ado, let's get straight into it. So today for our investigation, we're going to be using Remnux and Remnux is basically a um, a Linux distribution specifically made for malware analysis and reverse engineering. And you can go to this website and download it. It's really easy to install. Um, if you have VirtualBox or um, what is this called? VMware Workstation, all you, have, all you have to do is open it or download it first and then open it and then you're basically good to go. And it has a lot of tools that um, are amazing for doing this kind of work. All right, cool. So with that out the way, let's get started on the investigation. And here's the alert. Um, it says this alert was generated from a, a real phishing attack. Pretty cool. Um, but anyways, let's get let's get on it. Let's create this case. I already copied that information from earlier down, just for the sake of time. Start a playbook, and we need to get this information to complete our investigation, or to start our investigation. All right, let's copy that. And formatting is so bad. Uh, give me a second, it's going to drive me crazy. Okay, cool. Are there any attachments? Um, all right, cool. So the first question is when was it sent? Uh, so that's just the event time, that's not the sending time. So let's find out. When Trenton, Trenton sent this uh, phishing email, and we have Exchange open already. Uh, Trent, okay, there he is, cool. So from Trenton at TritownComputers.com at uh, June 13th, 2021 at 2 11 p.m. So when was it sent? What is the email's SMTP address? Um, I believe that's in here, so let me just copy that. Formatting, make it look nice. What's the sender the sender address? Um, obviously, Trenton at Tritown Computers. Uh, what's the re recipient address? Uh, Lars it says right here. Lars at Let's Defend. Where is my notepad? There it is. Recipient. Is the email content suspicious? Are there any attachments? Uh, so yes, we already found an attachment. Let's say yes. Uh, suspicious, possibly. An Excel file with macros. I think that's pretty suspicious. Um, but let's download this and see what's going on with it. And so in this uh, investigation, we're going to be using like I said, Remnux, and in Remnux, there's this tool called Olive, um, I spell it wrong, Olive VBA. Olive, Ole VBA, I don't know how you pronounce it, but that's what it is. And okay, first we need to um, extract that zip file, or the contents from the zip file. And we can use unzip, uh, but this P, uh, the P for password, and the password is infected and then pass in that file. Okay, cool. So we can uh, remove uh, the zip. We don't need it. And then we can CD into this folder that we just unzipped from the zip file. And so, okay, cool. So we see there's two DLL files um, included inside of that zip folder, which is really suspicious. So um, I'm just gonna ahead and go ahead and say yes, but let's dig in a little bit deeper since we're right here. Um, so let's use that tool I was talking about earlier, Olay VBA, and we're gonna pass in research or the XLS file that was inside of the zip folder. Okay, and we see uh, <laughs> it says it's suspicious as well. It says may run the executable file or a system command um, has some encoded hex strings. 
it's encoded base 64 strings, uh, which is very suspicious for an Excel file. And then uh, it pulled out the two ILCs, uh, this IROTO LDLL, and uh, some other suspicious stuff. And of course, it contains a macro. And so I, these are the strings that it pulled from the cell, or from the Excel file. Uh, we see a URL here. Here, uh, Let's copy that. Uh, ILCs. Mm, let's see what else do we have here. Uh, and we got another one. Another URL. And let's add that to our list of ILCs. And then we have the iroto, iroto l dot dll file. Whoop. Iroto l dot dll. We can get the hash for that later. And then it's the iroto dot dll. So already off the bat, we can tell that this um, this Excel file is definitely suspic suspicious. I'm not sure exactly what it's doing. It looks like it's trying to pull some more um, pull some more or download something from these two URLs. I'm not sure exactly what, but um, we can also run these through like Fires Total or um, what's the other one? Uh, file scan and let's see I'm sure they're malicious like I'm 100% sure just by looking at it because uh, no no legit person will send you this kind of kind of stuff you know and we get 10 security vendors flagging this file as malicious and there's some sort of Trojan uh, Artemis. And we can look into that further if we want to, but you know, we're just doing some basic analysis for our, uh, for our case right now. So I think we have a pretty good idea of what this file is, um, you know, it's malicious. And pretty much our job is to escalate it if needed because we're just, um, we're not incident responders, we are analysts at this point. So are there attachments? Yes. Oh, sorry. Let's also get the, the hash. Uh, well, we can do that in a second. Um, analyze URL attachments. Um, yeah, we already figured out it's malicious. Let's go ahead and run the other, other file as well. And let's do the other one through this uh, file scan website. Uh, consent. Upload. Let's drag the XLS file in here as well. Oh man. So we see some Trojan detection. Um, it's just like generic Trojan. I mean, that's just the naming convention or, um, you know, by these vendors or by these um, security vendors. So I'm not sure exactly what it is. But we we were very confident that this this whole thing is just malicious. So yeah. Hmm. Okay. So OSINT source detected malicious res resource. PE has a known uh, suspicious section name. Uh, okay. So let's go back to the case management and let's continue. Um, so yes, it is malicious. Check if mail delivered to user. Um, yes, it was delivered, All right? Yeah. Delete email from recipient. Oh, just like that, okay, cool. So check if someone opened the malicious, misspelled malicious um, file URL. So, um, let's go to log management and, uh, I think it was Lars, um, let's get his IP address, pass this into log management and, oh, that's the, 
the URL from the Excel file. The vision consulting, and I'm sure the other one is the other URL. So it looks like it downloaded some um, process excel.exe from this website. So uh, I think we can safely say that he opened the email. Uh, let's go to EDR, which we already have open, and let's contain his host, his computer, hit next. So let's, um, let's add these artifacts. Uh, embedded in Excel file. And let's add the other one. So yeah, um, we can just copy and paste that description uh, comment. And let's see what else. Email domain. Um, email sender. Fish sender. And then the email domain. Fish sender domain. Let's see what else we got here. Um, I mean, I guess we can add the SMTP uh, address. SMTP sender address. And then let's get the um, MD5 hash for those two or three files that were inside of that zip folder. And let's say I wrote to, I think it's I wrote to L dot DLL. And then the Excel file is called uh, research. Let's copy this. Um, okay, cool. So let's actually get the hash of these. Uh, I believe is um, check is it checksum or MD five sum? I think MD five sum. Let's pass in. I wrote to uh, let's see. When in doubt, Google it. Oh, MD, that's what I just typed, right? Oh, maybe I haven't installed it. I'm just I'm I'm sure that is on here, right? It has to be. All right, whatever. Use this handy, dandy uh, online tool. I'm not sure why that's not working out figure that out later but for the sake of time oops close some of this crap out um that was our roto uh there's an md5 for that and then let's do the our roto oh that's a one And then lastly, let's do the Excel file or XLS, whatever. I think that's still Excel. Uh, 
Uh, investigated, investigated phishing email. User determined to have opened the uh, email and XLS file. Um, gathered IOCs from uh, email including DLL files and email or malicious URLs. Um, so we could also um, do some OSINT on those URLs, but at this point I'm like, I'm pretty sure, um, like 99% sure that they're malicious. So I'm not gonna deal with those right now for the sake of time and finish playbook. And let's see how we did. All right, so we can close this alert. We've done our, uh, right, something to close alert, phishing, email, investigation. True positive. Close the alert and let's see, let's see how we did. Nice, uh, we got everything. So the editor note says that as a result of the sandbox analysis, blah, 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 it is seen as harmful. Uh, we have the C2 addresses. Those are those two URLs that we found inside the Excel, Excel file. And um, when the source address is determined on log management and search on endpoint management is observed, that is a Lars PRD device. We figured that out when the browser history and network connections on Lars PRD device are examined. Um, it says that we it communicated with the malicious addresses. Oh, we can actually go to. Forgot about that. Um, browser history. Um, let's see. I think it was June. So yeah, okay. Gotcha. We missed missed that part, but we still came to the same conclusion and got that um, got that information another way. So, two ways to skin a cat. <clears throat> oh, and command history. Um, it it is observed that the reg svr thirty two command, which is included in Excel four point macros, is run. Ooh. Yep, and those those are two DLLs that we found earlier. So yeah, his uh, IR has some some cleaning up to do, or some more investigation to do. But as a SOC analyst or as a security analyst, we have done our part. We have escalated it, closed the uh, the click the case, and hopefully you know somebody fixes Lars' issue and can give him a slap on the wrist for opening very suspicious emails from random people. So yeah, that ends out our investigation. I'm gonna to try to get more familiarized with Remnooks because it seems like it's a very useful tool for this type of investigative work. But um, I learned all of my information from this guy, John Hubbard on YouTube. So go check him out, please. And um, until next time.